I've yeah. officially named this the DD Graveyard. Let's talk about my broken sh We gotta go full race car with this. All right. Let's go to Irwindale. We're gonna meet up with the race team and put down some 11s. We just got to unplug the waist guys and leave a boost in the mode. Oh, we're back. Whoa. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. We are on our way to where, Dave? Going to Quintani, where we have a few broken cars. Just a few. Well, most of them start with the word M. It's on McDonald's. Some McLaren. people were saying McLaren's a Subaru of supercars. Yeah, that was Dean. Anyhow, we're going to what I've now probably officially nicknamed as the graveyard of DD cars. We got two McLaren in the channel and both McLaren are down right now. We don't know what happened in my car, so we'll find out what broke on my car, hopefully. Let's go find out what's going on. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, hold on, hold on. I need the curb spread here. <laughs> I got my shoes dirty. Now, the last vlog, you guys didn't get to see the wrap because I f***ed it up with the McLaren, which we'll address in a minute. But in the meantime, the sun's out. Let's get a good look at the new wrap by Protective. Sun's the out, movie. gun's out. And a huge shout out to Skeppel because they designed all this. Every little piece, every line, all the different shades, that's all printed into this wrap, including the white. So everything on here was hand designed and they had to go through the whole car, every little element. It's actually a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's cool because if you don't know how this happens, this whole wrap starts out white. That's a blank canvas and then they print all this on there. And then what they have to do is let the ink dry and then they run it through a big machine and they laminate it so it's satin finished. And I love the AL13 DD wheels with the little detail. And I got black center locks instead of the red ones. And it says on the side, what's it say on the side? Subscribe. Subscribe. 57% of the people who watch our videos don't subscribe. Today and today only, it's free. That's just hurtful if you don't subscribe. So this is Gintani, otherwise known as DDE Graveyard right now. DDE Graveyard. Good, how you doing? I see you tuning a lot of stuff. Normal day at Gintani, but hey, SEMA, you got big plans. Yeah, we got a booth this year, so it's gonna be pretty cool. Booth. Go see these guys. We will not be at SEMA. It's not my favorite thing. Anyhow, go and see these guys. This is now the DD Graveyard. I've officially named this DD Graveyard. It does run. Look how dirty it is. That's thanks to uh, Dean Carnage Sucker Carney. We're gonna get this picked up today. We're gonna give it a little rinse off. We're gonna take this to Formula Drift. What are you gonna do for the clutch? Well, we're gonna take the clutch out instead of the Dotson because it's a DCT clutch, so it's very similar to what's in the PDK and the Porsches and the DSG and the Huracan. Get new plates and uh, frictions made and maybe a basket because obviously... I got a basket case right here. I'll stop right there, David. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously the, fa the factory clutches can't take a thousand wheel horsepower, so. You don't say. Especially with your ass driving it and what, yeah. what? I have an amazing thing for you. After that, I said to Dave, we gotta go full race car with this yeah. Because race car. So in the end, could we put a sequential gearbox in it? On this one? Yes. Yeah, you can put a sequential gearbox in anything. I'm thinking sequential, hydro brake, a little more steer angle, cage. Tube chassis. Yeah. Coop chassis? Yeah. I don't know. Why? I don't know what he's talking about. Fire suppression system. Yeah, blue. that we could use, especially with this guy. But <laughs> shooting the back for a drift car. Yeah. That car needs a freaking fire suppression system. By the way, they got some epic builds coming out. We'll show you guys. I know you want to see the twin turbo SV these motherfuckers are building. Crazy. SV and SVJ. They're both on the lift, so. So the question is, do I twin turbo my SVJ or leave it NA? Can you keep the sound? Yes. Oh! I want to smack him. If do it, you do can, it, do it, do I'm it. Going, I'm can going you? to, I'm going to, yes. Look at all this stuff. I love it. Let's talk about my broken sh So we have F12. Everybody wants to know what is not working right and what did I wreck on the F12 already? I wrecked the clutch. That's gone. Blew well, we that. Knew, I knew that was gonna happen. And then we need to do bigger yeah. turbos. We're gonna do bigger turbos because we're maxing these out up top. The car revs up way too high, so it can't give it enough CFM, so. And these yeah. guys predicted that. Like some people were like, nah, that needs bigger turbos. Yeah, it does it does, it does need bigger turbos. With bigger turbos, this car on less boost is gonna make more power. So that's way better and more efficient, less heat. Okay. So bigger turbos, methanol injection. Explain to me, and I'm sure you guys already know, but I don't know, what's methanol do? That's alcohol, we, isn't we, it? Yeah, it's alcohol. We use it, we oh, use man. it. We use it for, uh, <laughs> 
damn. I can use a gin and tonic right now. You get it? That's actually pretty Thanks, good. Man. Gin and tonic. That's good. Thanks. The meth we usually use for uh, just cooling down the intake cups. Yeah. We never tune for meth. So. It's bad for your teeth though, right? Yes. It's very bad for your teeth. But <laughs> yeah, so okay. what, we, what we're going to use it for for this car is also to cool down the intake temps and use it for a little extra fuel and to bump up the octane level. Can we just run it on meth? No, man. This isn't the car for that. That's like a quarter mile pass car and you shut it off and put it back in. Could this run on meth? <laughs> it can, but we're not doing any of that <laughs> shit to this car. This That's not, this is not the car for that. Okay, man. so All we're work. doing meth. Meth injection. <laughs> yes, but I'm going to do them on individual ports. So each cylinder will have its own jet. So we're going to make uh, little standoffs that the nozzles will go into. So in the middle of the perspective here. Hold on, guys. Hold on. The manifold. Every single runner will have a nozzle in there. So it's going to be pretty bad <laughs> setup. And then we got to add two uh, wall, bro, the fuel pumps. Yeah, the Hellcat pumps. After that, it'll be good. Oh, oh we're, we're going to change the clutch. Stuff. We're going to change this. We're gonna change it. We need to change it so it sticks further out the hood. Oh I think. yeah, yeah, yeah. That would all that. Be, yeah. Just get the old extender out, yeah, you know. Yeah. Plus, yeah. if the turbos are sitting up higher, I'm gonna have a funny feeling that this is all gonna interfere with this. No, the turbos aren't gonna move anywhere. They won't. No. They're, even though they're bigger, they're no, not no, gonna no, change no. anything. It's the internals that are gonna be bigger. So, oh, there so you go. I don't know. Shit. Shit. Let's go over to Dave's car quickly because we know this has some form of a blown motor. No, it doesn't. This has a dead battery. We talked about this and last we time. Some, we have some updates on that, giving me a few little tidbits. But what's going on with this? You guys tore it down? Yeah. Well, have you found it? So. This thing runs two fuel pumps. So last time we took it apart, one of the fuel pumps, obviously what happens is the plastic line that uh, connects the fuel pump and the feed. <laughs> Looks like you're docking, yeah. to be honest. When it connects the feed okay. and the fuel pump together, they get hot, it's a soft plastic material, and it splits, and then you get no fuel pressure. So we fixed one side, our fault. We should have just taken the other side out and changed both of them, but we didn't because it looked fine. So now the other side's gone. So now extra work for us, thanks Dave. You know, I, I didn't run out of uh, gas. I didn't f up like you guys yes, thought I did. Yeah, 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 Dave. So that's yes. a total loss. Okay, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> 720 there, GTR, blown motor. End yeah. of story. Now let's go to things like, how are we fixing this? What's the game plan? So these guys know, because this is one of their favorite cars. So originally, uh, my motor for my 720, which has been sitting in the lot for two years now, we've been doing a lot of development with my buddy Marco at Magnus, as I told you. So my original motor's out there right now. The pistons, the rods, everything's ready. We're just right now trying to order gaskets and stuff like that with any car manufacturer is a complete pain in the ass. So we're just waiting for some head gaskets and a couple uh, Boring seals to come and then Marco is gonna put it back together. Marco, I know you'll be watching this and if you don't get it done, I'm gonna shove this thumb up your ass. Marco should be getting it done in the next two weeks. That's what he promised me. We'll get it done, put it together in two weeks and then get it here, throw it in the car and that's it. I mean, really? Motor, yeah. Unless we're gonna, actually, hold on. Bigger turbo. take that back. We're gonna do bigger turbos, so that's gonna take a little longer. Dave so, gets right in there with the yeah. camera. Jesus Christ, man. Let's <laughs> say you'll see this in a month. In a month or so, okay? yes. Yes. A month. But when you see it in a month or so, it's gonna be ridiculous. 720 GTR coming back with a GTR style motor. So now instead of the car having the interior and the exterior looks, it's gonna actually have the power to go with it. Yeah, we should Dave's be car, never gonna get fixed. Timeline on the F12, what do you think? Us taking the stuff apart. I mean, the fuel system is literally like a three day job. The meth kit's gonna take us at least like three, four days to do. Okay. The clutch the big is one's the problem. Clutch. So we gotta so that's, not, that's not in our hands. I've already talked to the guys over there, so. You have? Yeah. How would they say? They said you gotta take it on and send it to us, so. And then what are they thinking for a timeline? They say anything? Um, I mean, the turnaround time on my GT3 RS clutch was, I think about six weeks. That. So what if all of the DD fam went to Dodson Motorsports Instagram and said, we love you guys. Please get the DD F12 clutch done as fast as possible. We'll put a link to the Dodson Motorsports Instagram account and give them a follow while you're at it. Let's try to, let's, let's pretend this, let's is Dod those this is Dodson. Let's just go and give them a little massage on they're the gonna, old social gonna, media. They're going to kill me, but it's all good. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll figure it out. No, be nice. So the only thing is that we have SEMA coming up. So that's going to so put a little dent in stuff. Have, yeah, but, a couple yeah. weeks behind. Yeah, but boom, boom. Well, thanks, Alex. I Thank appreciate you, you. Thanks, Alex. I know you're busy. Yeah, He's got to go back and do SEMA projects. And we're going to take you guys and we're going to go to Irwindale and we're going to go slide our Drift Viper around. Try okay? sliding this around, too. Oh, man. If yeah. I had a clutch, I would. <laughs> we also got to fix the suspension. Oh, yeah, the suspension. <laughs> we got lots of stuff. All right, let's go to Irwindale. And we're in LA traffic. This is the complete opposite of what we're trying to accomplish. I will not hear anyhow. We're gonna head over to Irwindale, you guys, and meet up with the race team and put down some 11s all over the track. I think maybe I should drive. What do you think, Dean? Huh? If Dean wants to win a race, you should drive. We own the team now. We do, we so own Dean. We own Dean. We're gonna go pick up Alex Choi. Yeah, this is pretty slow. Ooh. Good timing, officer. I hear Alex Choi in the wild. Is he back there? There he is. Only half an hour late. Only half an hour late. Let's roll, Irwindale. Why am I in an automatic? Oh, come on, David. Get your head in the game. 
Wait, I don't pass the cop. Oh, Troy's going down. <laughs> Wait, are we? You have arrived. We have Welcome. arrived. Welcome to Irwindale. All you can see is smoke off the track. Look at Troy's car. That's almost disappearing. <laughs> Devoted to scooters, hey, eh? This is classic. <laughs> Dean's gonna go jump in his car. We're gonna go get Mark Choi. We're gonna go up into the stands, watch him do his first lap. Hope he doesn't crash the car. And we're gonna need the big lens if we're shooting here. What do you think, Troy? Crazy? Oh, Troy's bored, he's yawning. Guys, it's crazy. What car would you drive out there, Alex? Yeah, I'll just Tesla. Yeah. Tesla? You wouldn't be able to make any of those corners. Yeah, I would. Which one? The plaid. The plaid. I'll send that around here. It's more horsepower than half these cars. More horsepower than half. Actually, probably true. <laughs> display here at the Carnage Tent. The Matt, tent Matt what did you do here, Matt? What happened here, 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 here? <laughs> Two scratches. There she is. Can you imagine? It's the wrong car. Watch out for the F12. Have you been in this car yet? No. Pretty nutty. We are officially with the van. <laughs> I like this Huracan better. Aww. That's what the exhaust comes out of. Put your face right there. Like no! It made me better looking. All right, there he is. Here it comes. They had to put a new file in, change the tune and everything. He said that they have like a hundred different tunes just for this track because they have it at all different temperatures of the day. Based on the time of the day, the temperatures and all that is the type of tune that he has to run. Pretty crazy. Oh, look, look. It's the closest it's been to the top 10. D oh! Why are you wrecking our car? Your checks are clear yet, boys. <laughs> don't cash it. It's been forever. You can't lease a race program, you know that? <laughs> so hey, what, what? We have like hundreds and hundreds of different logs and map files that we have on this car over the last four years of racing. I think what happened when we were kind of rushing before practice is someone uh, uploaded a log into the car that was uh, seven PSI, like a wet weather log or whatever yeah. for low boost. So we done two laps. The first lap was a waste of time. Heck Second lap was us to confirm the first lap was a waste of time. And then uh, we fixed our out with the right map. So that's crucial for you, these guys? Yeah. What the f are you doing? Let's go! Time is money, let's go! 
So we're gonna throw a bunch of GoPros on your car. Yes, sir. Because these guys want to know what it feels like to go for a ride at full tilt on the wall at Irwindale. That's it. That was a fun night. He finally gave it to me after all the times we talked about it. I gave it to you before. I you really drove, appreciate drove it. it all the way to Texas. <laughs> you can have it. Fix it and then give it back to me. <laughs> Got a few dollars that are going to need to be invested. We were, uh, we were talking earlier on. It's like $1.2 million in cars. If I sold this, I couldn't even pay the taxes on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's one. I wrote one. Because yeah, that's not actually that expensive. Sure. That's expensive. These, these are selling. A Roadster right now is selling for like 1.1. These are selling for like 900 to a million. An F12 is probably like back up to like 350, 400. So really, this is probably more like 1.5. Dean, end the vlog, please. Too much tired. I want to go to bed. Get the f out of here. That's perfect. <laughs> Conversation. 